Here's a couple of stories well worth telling. A minister who disguises himself under the name of George tells in his book about God's underground the following incident. A Russian army captain came to a minister in Hungary and asked to see him alone. The young captain was very brash and very conscious of his role as a conqueror. When he had been led to a small conference room and the door was closed, he nodded toward the cross that hung on the wall. You know that thing is a lie, he said to the minister. It's just a piece of trickery you ministers use to delude the poor people, to make it easier for the rich and to keep them ignorant. Come now, we are alone. Admit to me that you never really believed that Jesus Christ was the Son of God. The minister smiled. But my poor young man, he said, of course I believe it. It is true. I won't have you play these tricks on me, cried the captain. This is serious. Don't laugh at me. He drew out his revolver and held it close to the body of the minister. Unless you admit to me that it is a lie, I'll fire. I cannot admit that, for it is not true. Our Lord is really and truly the Son of God, said the minister. The captain flung his revolver on the floor and embraced the man of God. Tears sprang to his eyes. It is true, he cried, it is true. I believe so too, he said, but I could not be sure men would die for this belief until I found it out for myself. Oh, thank you. You have strengthened my faith. Now I too can die for Christ. You have shown me how. That's a great story. And the second story is similar. Wurmbrand speaks of the time when two armed Russian soldiers entered a Romanian church with their guns in their hands. They said, we don't believe in your faith. Those who do not abandon it immediately will be shot at once. Those who abandon your faith move to the right. Some moved to the right, who were then ordered to leave the church and go home. They fled for their lives. When the Russians were alone with the remaining Christians, they embraced them and confessed, we too are Christians, but we wished to have fellowship only with those who consider the truth worth dying for. <laughs>